Hello, and welcome to CopTubeAmerica.com, where we teach you the elements of criminal law. I'd like to thank you, my teenagers, those who are 13 to 17. You have five years to get it right. Okay? That don't mean mess up. No, just absolutely get it right. You're going to walk into 18, and you don't want to walk into 18 with a history involving the police department, involving people who have nothing but bad things to say about you. Okay? Now, understand this. There are some things on this list, the most repeatedly broken laws here in America. I did not say China, I did not say Japan, I did not say Africa, here in America. Our home, right here. Alright guys, and I would love if you guys would take this much away. That'd be nice. I don't want you guys to be repeat offenders of the law. It's not as easy as you think it is to get out of this stuff. They're coming down hard. And it's going to be even harder because now I'm teaching it. All right? Understand that. Don't your parents, They don't they say, uh, you know, I've told you several times. Now you're going on punishment. Oh, Mom! But then how many times... Do you think you have to tell a person? Don't you get upset? If you got a little brother, little sister, or cousin, anybody younger, and they say, hey, don't you get you say, hey, don't do this. And they look, man, then you start getting bent out of shape, don't you? They're doing the same thing. They ask you not to do something, and you go right on ahead and do it. Or I, I didn't mean to do it. And you're in a habit of doing what you want to do when you want to do it. You can get upset. You can tear up the walls. You can do whatever you want to do. Stomp your feet. Have temper tantrums. You are 13, 14, or 15, or 16, or 17. And you should be out of that. That's what children do. That's what little kids do. You're a teenager now. You got to chill. Okay? Now, if they asked you to do something, now you say... Well, you should say, please. Well, that's what they taught you. Okay? After a while, you get in each other's company. You forget to say, please. Oh, well. You don't say, please, all the time. <laughs> so, I'm going back and forth with your parents or any adult. They're just trying to do their best and hold a job and get you the things that you need. Don't make them wish they, had, they didn't have you. Don't make them wish that. That means you have taken them to the edge. You used to be so cooperative that you done got with your friends. And now the only one you seem to listen to are your friends. Who can get you in trouble on today's topic, third degree murder. Oh, it has happened. And we're going to try our best to get you not to get involved in this, whoever you may be. I'm talking to teens, 13 to 17. You don't need a history of being a hothead and that you'll just explode. No, you're just doing it because ain't nobody grabbed you by the throat yet. <laughs> As they say, I'll get you by your throat. They're not actually going to do that. Ah, if they do, you better call the police department, social services, let's, let's get this thing settled right now. Because everybody got to obey the law for it to work. So nobody will feel like they've been cheated. Everybody got to obey the law. There are more people who agree with obeying the law than there are people who agree with not obeying the law. Okay? You can't have anarchy. Some of you teens will lose out. You have adults killing you, everybody killing you, so can that be the case? No. So, we're going to come over here. You can't have nice things and somebody damage them. 
Look at the world as if your room was the world. Now, how would you manage it? You want somebody coming in there tearing up things? Mm -mm. They don't want you in the world tearing up things. You want somebody coming in all times of the night, screaming and hollering and what? No. And if you have a, uh, someone in there sharing that room with you, it's peace and quiet. It's time to go to bed. All right? You want fights constantly going on in your world? No. And you can't do it out here in the world. You want somebody to commit third degree murder? No. You want some peace. You want to be able to, you don't be looking like this. You want to be able to just go to sleep and that's it. Okay. And third degree murder, and that's the topic for today. Topic number nine. And we're moving right along, aren't we? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I told y'all this thing going to speed up. All right. This is going to deal with a lot of hostility. But officers come to know what to be. Hostility, things are built up, people are shot, people do things, and they act out. Okay? All I need to teach you guys are the elements. Elements are these things. And in law, they're acts. All right? People commit. Let's take a snowball. Let's go all the way back and take a snowball. You got this thing called a snowball. All right? And what makes up a snowball? Snowflakes. They're elements. They're things. Okay? Now, in law, there are acts that are named. Third degree murder. And what are the acts? I'm going to tell you that. What people did, the things that they have done, that constitutes, that they call, third degree murder. Not first, not second. There's no fourth that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay, so, remember these videos are not edited. Alright, and they're not rehearsed. Why? Because life's not rehearsed. Is life edited? No, you don't get a chance to do things over twice. <laughs> oh no okay so when you get arrested trust me let me tell you what's going to happen and then I'm going to tell you what third degree murder is somebody files a complaint that they can pick up the telephone and dial 911 they saw something they heard something they were asked to dial alright and 911 is going to come in Hello, 911, what is your emergency, ma'am, sir? They, they know it's a, pretty much if it's a male or a female, okay? They're very nice people. When the police arrive, okay, what's going to happen? The police going to get the call from 911, 152, go ahead for 152, Raleigh. Uh, 152, uh, we need you at 106 Breaker Down Road. 10-4, Raleigh. Uh, there is a... Uh, there was a fight, there was a shooting, there was a stabbing, and there there is a decedent. Okay? We're going to send you a backup. 10-4 Raleigh. I mean, we're getting all on the radio, honey. We come and hanker down. All right, now, when we arrive, we're going to get the witnesses, and we're going to separate them. We're going to find out who the, who the person is, who's the suspect. I mean, everybody is working together. Because someone was hurt. We don't know if they're dead or alive. But everybody's just calling in like crazy. To get who? Get some help to the person who's been injured. And hurry up. See how everybody is? And hurry up and get the one who did it. Don't let it be you. You understand? Okay, you can do something better with your time besides sit behind bars. And I talked a lot about what's going to go there. And I haven't even gotten started with sodomy. 
It happens for young folks. There's a lot of sick young people out there. But guards can't be around 24 hours a day. They got other things. They got paperwork to do. There's the changing of the guards. Things happen very quickly. All right? You can be missing teeth, and they're going to bleed. What do you want the nurse to do? And you know how many people she got to service before she gets to you? Hey, give you a pack of pills, and you'll be snoop wah, 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 woo, you won't be able to sleep tonight. All right, now, once they do that, everything is down. They take the witnesses down. Everybody's going in squad cars. Because if they get their hands on the one who committed the murder, and they're not quite sure yet, but they get it together very quickly. There's supervisors on the, uh, on the scene. There's your standard, your regular uh, patrol cars, and your field operations. They're on the scene. The tape is up. The lights are on heavy and blue lights inside. Just imagine. Ooh, just so much going on. If you're there, if you've done something like this and you're there, the handcuffs go on. And then you read your rights. And you're taken down to the police department. You are put in the back of that car. And it ain't no fun. And you're not getting out. And once they cuff you, and you better pray. You cannot say you got the wrong person. You got the wrong person. Enough. And the whole crowd, you got the wrong person. You got, uh uh, you going down. We, we ain't taking no chances. And when they put you in the back of that car, you can't get out of it. There's no locks on it. It can only open from the outside by police officers. Anybody touch a squad car, they're going down as well. You understand? None of your friends can help you. And if you're going to help somebody, whoever you may be, you're going down too. Now, is it worth it? You take a moment to think about it. Is it worth it? Keep thinking now. Teenagers are supposed to answer real fast, no. <laughs> a, a kid would say no. Five and six and seven and eight and nine, ten and eleven, twelve will say no real fast. Don't you become a teenager and you forget. And you're supposed to be good at all times. Because you can lose things when you're a teenager. You can lose a lot of opportunities. It's just getting ready to get started. The way you can earn your own money, buy your own cars, and you're going to blow it. Okay, don't do that. Now, you have to understand, too, that when you are behind in a squad car, that there's a lot of radio going on. There's officers talking. Oh, boy, it's, it's on and popping. Okay, and it ain't the radio where you hear music. It's the police radio. And every, you can hear everything that's going on. And that officer is not talking to you. And they're taking you straight down to the police headquarters. They will open up that door once they park that car and bring you out. They will take you directly into the police department. And trust me, they keep the AC going. And it's cold because we got to stay woke. <laughs> All right? They say, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, you're going to be chilly. All right? Now, this is reality. This is real now. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't fluffing things up. There's a lot of fluffing been going on over the years. I don't play with you. All right? Understand that. I'm trying to give it to you so you don't get in trouble. Because there is no second chances. Now, right now, a life has been taken with this third degree murder. The detectives are coming out of their homes. There are detectives already there, but there's more detectives coming. And they're talking, and they're going to bring you up through the elevator or whatever, and then they're going to put you in a room and shut the door, and the handcuffs are still on you. And you're the suspect. And yes, you me, there are cameras. And there are mics. I'm not going to hide anything from you. I'm going to let you know what you're coming into. If you do something like number nine. Third degree murder. Now, it's going to be a minute. Oh, yes. They ain't rushing in. They got to get everything together. You might be sitting there an hour. In handcuffs. There's no rush. What we don't get done today, 
Tonight, we're going to get done tomorrow. Police officers, do not rush. We want to get it right. Don't you want us to get it right? Mm -hmm. We could have the wrong person. You're right. But everybody down there, and y'all can't visit each other. Everybody locked in separate rooms. Oh, they got a lot of rooms. They got a lot of rooms. Okay, some of them got double windows, some of them don't. That's just the beginning. That is just the beginning. Then you're sitting there, and then here comes the key. Click, 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 click. It's been so quiet. And all of a sudden, you hear somebody, and there's a door opening. And you go, huh? And your heart starts racing. Okay? And they walk in, and they put that pad down. They will ask you some questions. But before that, they always say, have you been read your rights? My mom, we already know you're going to fold right then and there. When you ask for your mom, the most loving person in the whole wide world. Now she's the best thing to the sliced bread. Now she's the smartest thing. And now you figure she can get you out of the mess you're in. You are not five years old. You are not. And if you're five years old, you need to go on over there and wait. You understand me? And wait. Go on over there and wait. <laughs> That's how they say. Get on over there and wait, boy. Girl. All right. Now, listen. So, you're going to be in there for quite some time because it's a very serious crime. Mm-hmm. You'll be hungry. They're not offering you any food. Well, would you like something to drink? Uh, would you like some um, uh, pizza? Uh, do you want us to call Domino's? <laughs> Come on. Would you like some Kentucky Fried Chicken? <laughs> I don't think so. And your parents are not coming in there either. I understand that. Your parents would get up off that elevator and go right in and talk, start talking to detectives about what you've done. And all they can say is, okay, okay. All right, well, um, what's going on now? Oh, they're talking to him. They're talking to her. Okay. Is there something else you can tell us, ma'am? Oh, and your parents will start talking because they got a lot of... It's nothing but money. They got to shell out. There's nothing that can be done once you've taken a person's life. Is there? This is all about writing checks now. Swiping cars, taking out loans, and finding out where they're going to put you after it's all said and done. That's all this is about. There's going to be money and where you going to go. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, sir. Is there some more money you can give us? You know, there's a lot that you're going to have to pay. Oh, that's right. Your income tax is coming. We like that, too. But I have to. We need the money, ma'am. The attorneys need to get paid. And where are you going to go for doing something like this? You're not going to get that money. They're not getting one dime back. And if they bond you out, they'd be so lucky. And because teenagers like to get on the run, honey. I doubt very seriously you get your, get it bonded out. No. Mm -mm. No. Deny bond. It's too much. And teenagers, they're so explosive. And, and that's why I say calm down. It doesn't have to be that way. People can hear you better. If you're ah, that's what you're cool. Just chill. Nobody's going to get a belt and whoop you. Nobody's, gonna, nobody's your parents. They're just going to ask you a bunch of questions. A whole lot of questions. And you will be the one who can answer them. You did it. You can answer the question. You wasn't scared when you took a life. Now, this goes on for the rest of your life. All these laws cannot be broken for the rest of your life. Now, you got a choice. You break one of these laws, and it's a felony, it's got a stiff penalty to it, you won't be breaking down the rest of your life by force because you'll be locked away. 
Now, what you're going to do, you're going to try to manage yourself a little, you know, just manage yourself just a little bit better. Some are doing very good, but some need to manage themselves just a little bit better. And those talking all that junk, don't you worry. You'll break the law eventually. But we're trying to get it down as low as we can. If we can get rid of, of um, lynching, people used to lynch folk. And we can get rid of some of this other stuff. It's all a matter of people's tempers, flaring, people upset. You don't have to be upset. If people don't want you, come on about your business. I wouldn't want nobody that didn't want me. Oh, screw all them feelings. That's all police officers hear about. Oh, he did this. Oh, she did that. Like children. You're teenagers. And, the, and other people are adults. Okay. I gave him this. He won't give me this back. I blah, blah. Y'all should hear what we hear. Okay. Elements. Let's get on to our lesson. All right. And if there's some words that you don't know, please do look them up. Please. All right. We're going to get through this now. Hopefully you took the test. Don't forget there's flashcards and all that. Now, I don't need to remind every video, do I? You guys are smart. All right, teenage. That's why I like teenage. Y'all are some good folk. Okay. Elements making up the crime of third-degree murder. Number one. And there are four of them. And number four has a B to it. Okay. The, 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 it has a, a sub. All right. Listen. You'll get it. This is number one. Simple word. Whoever. Makes no difference. Just whoever. That's it. You're like, what? Mm -hmm. Number two. Without intent to affect the death of any person. You didn't have to do it with intent. Not like second degree murder and first degree murder. You intentionally. Okay? This, you don't have to. It, no intent. Look up the word intent. Number three. It says, causes the death of another by perpetrating an act. Eminently dangerous. You cannot be reckless. Okay, listen. Eminently dangerous to others. And... With a depraved mind. Number four, without regard for human life. You don't care about human beings. All right, now, here's a B. And I want you to look and see the law in the intro. And it's also written and posted the same thing in the books, before the video. It's everywhere. Okay, now it says, whoever without intent to cause death, approximate causes the death, approximately causes the death of a human being by directly or indirectly unlawfully selling, giving away, now listen, bartering, delivering. Exchanging, distributing, or administrating a controlled substance. Classified by Schedule 1 or 2. Is guilty of murder in the third degree. And may be sentenced to imprisonment for not more than 25 years or... To pay a fine of not more than $40,000 or both. Mm. Woo! How can you be loved when your parents got to kick out $40,000? Somebody might say, oh, there's juvenile law. Oh, yeah. But we're not talking about that. You're going to do growthful stuff. You're going to get a grown full punishment. Ask any judge. We're going to try him or her as an adult. They are no longer playing. 
I'm sorry. Who would want to go and commit a crime like this anyway? If it's got anything to do with a controlled substance, I want you guys to go back and really read 4B. Please do. Whoever without intent to cause the death. Overdosing. You alive, tell it. And they did. Approximately caused the death of a human being by and just start reading. Officers are not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. Y'all may take everybody else for a joke. I'm not a joke. Now we can have fun. But for some reason, there's always someone. That's why it's good to look at these videos by yourself so you can, you, you don't have anybody disturbing you. Talking in your other ear, laughing. Talking back. You don't talk to videos, mumbling. Hey, hey, hey didn't. tell them stop. Clear the room. Go and look at the videos yourself because this is serious and this has to do with your life. You don't want your name on anybody's board. You don't want your name in files left and right. And you don't want your name changed to a number. Directly or indirectly. Law, unlawfully selling. Or giving away. Mm -hmm. Y'all have all them drugs in high school. Nobody's a fool. Bartering. Uh -huh. Don't forget. Adults were once teenagers. We've been through this. We done seen it all. We have seen it because we done had, we had to go through ninth grade, tenth grade, 11th grade. Oh, they had drugs all in my school. Did I participate in it? No. I'm going to be a cop. Listen. Delivering. Mm -hmm. Exchanging or distributing or distributing, sorry, or administrating, administering <laughs> a controlled substance. Now, what is a controlled substance? You're going to have to go online and I want you guys to do a little homework. I know what they are. It says classified in Schedule 1 or 2. Look at that. I'm not going. I want you guys to really get involved in this. And you're going to be surprised what you see. Just go online. Control substance. Schedule 1 or 2. Look at it. Be concerned about your life. Nobody's going to spoon feed you everything. Cops don't do that. You will be guilty of murder in the third degree. I told you, 25 years. Not more than 25 years. Mm. And who's going to pay that fine? $40,000. And let me remind you that that is just the fine. That's not the cost of court. That's not the attorney's fee. That's not all the money that you have to pay for restitution and then being sued, your parents being sued, and maybe they may be locked up for what? Oh, my God, for not being good parents. All y'all going down. Maybe contribute to the delinquency of minor once they start getting behind the scenes on stuff. How in the world he get a hold of drugs? She get a hold of drugs. What's going on? People got to keep tabs on their children. But kids, you got to help out. Oh, yes, you do. All right? Let me see. Where else? You got to pay a bond, maybe? 
That's money. Where all this money going to come from? Where is all of this money going to come from? You don't have a job. And if you have a job, you're not making that much money. If you have a job, tell your parents to chill out and you'll take care of them. But that's not the case. Teenagers don't have that type of money. And no drug dealer in the world going to fork that much money over to you. No, you take chances. So the best thing, don't get in the streets. They keep pulling me. Hey, everybody knows what to do. They tried to pull me out there. Didn't work. No, nah, man, I ain't trying to have all that. Oh, okay, sorry, loose. Okay? Listen. Restitution. Look it up. Somebody got to pay that. And if you coming out, somebody got to pay for things once you come out. You gotta eat. Who gonna pay? Who gonna pay for the rent, the mortgage, wherever over your head? Because you're still gonna be relatively young, and your family may, over the years, invite you back in. Where's all this stuff gonna come from? All because of your behavior. One thing. One thing. Maybe they didn't get you to throw the book at you, and all you got. This is one sheet of paper. And you mean you couldn't control yourself. Or one of your friends, you can't get to say, hey, slow it down. Put that stuff away. I don't want to see you behind bars. I don't want to see you behind a steel door with a little window that big. Then it ain't for mail. All right. The penalty will be 10 years. Upwards to 25 years for this crime. It will start at 10. Need I get my... Um, <laughs> You're guaranteed to sit. And what did I teach y'all in the beginning of one of the videos? All you'll be hearing is this. Talking to people you don't want to talk now, you're going to be talking to a whole lot of people in them years. Doctors, board members, you're going to have to talk to parole board and probation before you even think about getting out. Even if you've done your time. So you might as well just learn how to talk to people now. If you have difficulty talking to people about your feelings. You shouldn't have all these feelings anyway. Everybody gonna get a little beat up. Life's like a whole football game anyway. <laughs> it really is. Okay, you know how many times I got hit? Mm -hmm. I don't wanna get into it. <laughs> all right, now, 10 years, 120 months. 10 years is 3,650 uh, days. 10 years is 5,756,000 no. Million minutes. Mm. Is this for you? Is crime for you? <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to number 10. Is this for you? Staying in a box for millions of You're going to get tired of wearing the same stuff. You're going to get tired. Just look at it. You think you're tired of your little brother, little sister. You're going to get real tired. This tolerance is okay. You want to get to 18 and you want to live life out. It's all about how you want to do it. Alright, you got choices to make. Alright, now. Total hours. For this, is beginning at 87,600 hours now. And then you know they're going to try to push it to 25 years because you're young. You need time to grow up. So give them 25 years. 25 years? Yes. 
Ooh, let's go on here. Got 25 years. That's 300 months. That's 9,125 days. When that just says, young man, young lady, would you stand before me? You pled guilty. Or uh, you have been found guilty. You'll be remanded over to Department of Corrections, where you will begin serving. And they need to do it not in years. Mm -hmm. No. You know, a lot can happen. Parents die, parents get sick, and you can't help out. So after a while, why do they need to come to even talk to you? All you do is run up the phone bill. That's if you get a telephone call. And when the judge goes, you will be serving 13,140,000 minutes behind bars. Mm. What you gonna say for third degree murder? What you gonna say? Who gonna like you? Cause see, they're out there having to fork all that money out. You got something to think about. No, I'm not a counselor. I'm not here to beg you and go through no, no. Yeah, every, every team knows cops don't play. Cops do not play. And I'm not playing with you. I'm not gonna fluff it up. It just is what it is. It's cold. Don't get involved in this stuff. Do your homework. It, it seems, homework seems to be a lot simpler. Because you know what? You're not going to get educated during this period. 25 years. You're going to wish you could have your hand on a book. You're going to wish you could read so you could read the book you wish you could get your hand on. You want to know how many hours? 219,000 hours. You can't fall in love. There's no need to make any plans. You want to go down this, this avenue? And I told you, there's still money that has to be paid before you even get out. Isn't that something? <laughs> That's something else. Even though you serve your time, if the money's not paid, you ain't getting out. And you could be in there and somebody get you in some mess, but I doubt that very seriously once they get you locked down and get you to understand it. And if somebody sexually assaults you, male or female, rape you. Now, I'm going to let you know. There's a thing called sodomy. When you get raped and you're behind. In your derriere, in your butt. And they go, well, I'm not gay. Hey, they don't care. You have no power. Juveniles, it's eight out of ten. I have on the site, look at the letters. that inmates have written, young and old, about being sodomized, raped, beat up, choked, stomped, kicked, food stolen from them they haven't eaten in weeks, and dare them to tell the guards. They just think, I just want to be transferred. No, it's not going to happen. It doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You have lost all your rights. Somebody going to tell you what to do. I hate people telling me what to do. Well, look, you're already in. Somebody going to tell you what to do. Once you cross this line, now, cross these lines here. You don't like nobody telling you what to do. I'd be like, Mommy, tell me what to do. Because when the warden who don't know you ain't your cousin, and just the, <laughs> the meanest, coldest thing,
It's not vital. It's not necessary. But this is a necessary thing that has to be done. Because we can't have people going around the United States committing third degree murder. And it says penalties for third degree murder, damages that what? Occur and occurred will begin at twenty thousand dollars. Now down here drugs what did it say? Forty thousand. Read it. Read it. If you can't read this, you need to get a tutor. If you can't read this and you're at the age of 13, get some help. Get some help. There's some officers out there to tutor now. Oh, yes, they will. Community Watch. Okay. Do you have any officers out there to tutor? Sure, they do. And then plus cost of court. You can't pay the money. So everybody's going to help you in the family. A conspiracy charge can be added to most crimes, which increase or may double your sentence. Now, I'm going to tell you this right here. You have to have respect for human life. Without regard for human life, that can't be. You want so, you know, let, let, we're getting ready to end this, but let me let me share something with you. People who murder and kill a human being. Isn't it funny they don't want to be murdered? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody to hurt me, but I don't mind hurting someone else. What? No. No. And even when you do do something like that or even try, you might end up getting killed yourself. Have you thought about that? Let it go. Don't do it. What Officer Burnett say? Don't do it. Let it go. We're going through some rough times right here. Because 10, 11, we're going on to voluntary murder. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that can go on. But if you don't get caught up in the mess, Get choose the right friends. Please do. Oh, it's such an urgency. Go to places that everybody's calm. No drugs, no alcohol. Just, just let it go. I know some people. I'm living over here, and I'm the true. But you got to mm, grin and bear for a while. That's why you got to make good grades so you can get out of that. Because some people refuse to get out of it. Some people are mentally ill and don't know what's really going on. But if you're not mentally ill, you can get out of that. You're just going to grow up and you're going to do very well. But I'm behind in my study. Tutors, tell them Cop Tube America then shine the light on your life. And you really would like to catch up and get things right. When you start hearing these times, these sentences, and these this money, see that's the problem. Everybody just got to look at the thing, and at first they I can't pay that. That's why you see a lot of people in poverty, because the things their children did, they brought you here. You're beautiful. I know you are. Think about it. Babies are gorgeous, but they didn't expect for you to do all this, that, and the other. Back it up. That's all. It ain't, ain't nothing. Mama just wanted, you know, dad, you know, whatever the case may be. You, dad might not even be there. But it's okay. Look, I just want to help out. You know, I, I'm cool. I, I'm cool. When I realized how much the fines are and how much time I'd have to spend in minutes and hours, man, that ain't, that ain't my thing. I don't think I was born to go into a cage. Excuse me? <laughs> Shit, your mother will be shot. And she's been trying to tell you that. You can't even stay in your own room. You're out in the streets. Now, how in the world are you going to be from the streets to another? Is there a room waiting for you at the other end? You, you won't stay in your room, do your homework. You got to get out in them streets. Or when you get out in the streets, start doing stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. You keep hearing that. You absolutely should not be involved in, in the mix. I don't care how it makes you feel. 
Let it go. Because you're going to come from one room you're asked to be in to the streets. And the street is in the middle. And we hope you get out of the street and get into your room and do whatever study. Look at the internet. Don't play too many video games for real. I'm not here to sell no video. I'm a cop. I'm trying to tell you warning, warning. Danger, danger, warning. Yes. You don't want to come from the street and then they have to put you. You're asked to be in one room. But then, on the other hand, they're going to have to put you in one room. Lock the door. Slam it. And boom, that thing rings in your ears. You can't get out. You're going to immediately start crying and you're just going to sit there puzzled and perplexed. Just like a mouse trying to figure out a way to get out. Mm -hmm. Can't help it. That's the mind. Americans are used to being free. And that's the first thing they're going to opt for. That's the first thing they're going to get is your freedom. And next, the money. And ain't no praying on this earth going to get you out of it. If you believe. Trust me. No minister, no pastor, no marching up and down the streets. No, you took a life. You didn't have to do it. So the best thing for everybody to do, that I don't want to go over to that room. We got a room for you now. You don't want to stay in your room. We have a room for you. Society that built these prisons and these... Um, Juvenile detention said, oh, you no, you don't get to select, can I go to a group home? No. You take a life. We got something for you. We have a room. We work together as a big team, the Justice Department. We have a room for you. Do you want it? Yes or no? It's real simple. It's real simple. Yes or no? Don't say no, and then you end up in that room anyway. Everybody like playing games. But you know, cops don't play games. Everybody around you play games. Where folk get their hands on you, ain't no games. Searching for you, there is no games. We don't play games, do we? No. So go from the streets. If you're out there and get back in that room, that room can, that door goes open and close. So you can go downstairs or upstairs or oh, down the hall. You get a bite to eat in the midnight, get a little something to drink. Yeah, you got your freedom. Enjoy that. Don't put it in jeopardy. Don't, don't put it on the table and gamble. All right, look, let's move forward. Okay? We're going on lesson number 10. And these lessons are getting shorter and shorter. I told you, I just need to get you guys to loosen up and start thinking about some things. It's all the elements of criminal law. Okay? All right. So, that's it. Short and sweet. Voluntary murder only has three elements. You're going to have your book. Videos for a year. Okay? So, bam. Be good. Be kind. Y'all help one another. Do me a favor. Y'all make me, I'll probably cry. <laughs> if we could just chop it in half with you guys. The teens in the United States. And let's just go get statistically. Did the crime rate drop? Did they chop it in half? Because they have an expectation that so many teens are going to break the law. Don't do it. You see what they done done? They already got it. Because teens before you guys, they done broke the law. They done broke the law. They done broke the law. They don't care. They just throwing it out to the wind. Y'all got to care. Just casting their all fear to the wind. And then they'd be surprised when the judge go, oh, cast this one. You got 12 years. They might be sitting back thinking, oh, let me see. He's 17 now. Hmm. About long, he's childish. Let's give him 14 years. No, let's give him another 17 years. 
they'll be a whole grown man before he gets out. You want that? Well, let's see. Ooh, this girl gonna get mean. She's 16 now. And the judge goes, I'll tell you what, give her, uh, she's got an attitude. Uh, 20 years. How you gonna have a baby? How you gonna even start a family? He just took everything away from you. God, you can't always have a child. And that favorite girl that you had your eye on, maybe, or your dreams, he might just be a guy laying up with you. You don't want that. Think about some things. Okay? All right. Bye. The weight of my mistakes Depends on how I feel Don't let it bring you down The weight of what I say Depends on how you feel But I don't want to bring